I give very little nutritional advice because I've discovered that all systems work for some people. I do have a local network of good practitioners in the holistic field, and I refer clients to them when I see the necessity for nutritional knowledge. This is an area where you must find your own way or go to a specialist who can test you. Many of the books on nutrition have been written by persons who were very ill and worked out a system for their own healing. However, everyone is not alike. For instance, the macrobiotic and the natural raw food diets are two totally different approaches. The raw food people never cook anything, seldom eat bread or grains, and are very careful not to eat fruits and vegetables at the same meal, and they never use salt. The macrobiotic people cook almost all of their food, have a different system of food combining, and use a lot of salt. Both systems work. Both systems have healed bodies. My personal nutritional approach is simple. If it grows, eat it. If it doesn't grow, don't eat it. Be conscious of your eating. It's like paying attention to our thoughts. We can also learn to pay attention to our bodies and the signals we get when we eat different things. Cleaning the mental house after a lifetime of indulging in negative mental thoughts is like going on a good nutritional program after a lifetime of indulging in junk foods. They both can often create healing crises. As you begin to change your physical diet, the body begins to throw off the accumulation of toxic residue. And as this happens, you can feel rather rotten for a few days. So it is when you make a decision to change mental thought patterns your circumstances can begin to seem worse for a while. Recall for a moment the end of a Thanksgiving dinner. The food is all eaten and it's time to clean the turkey pan. The pan is all burnt and crusty, so you put in hot water and soap and let it soak for a while. Then you begin to scrape the pan. Now you really have a mess and it looks worse than ever, but just keep scrubbing away and soon you'll have a pan as good as new. It's the same thing with cleaning up a dried on crusty mental pattern. When we soak it with new ideas, all the gook comes to the surface to look at. Keep doing the new affirmations and soon you will have totally cleared an old limitation. So we have decided we are willing to change and we will use any method that works for us. Let me describe one of the methods I have used with myself and with others. First, go look in a mirror and say to yourself, I am willing to change. Notice how you feel. If you are hesitant or resistant or just don't want to change, ask yourself why. What old belief are you holding on to? Please don't scold yourself. Just notice what it is. I'll bet that belief has been causing you a lot of trouble. I wonder where it came from. Do you know? Whether we know where it came from or not, let's do something to dissolve it now. Again, go to the mirror and looking deep into your own eyes, touch your throat and say out loud 10 times, I am willing to release all resistance. I am willing to release all resistance. Mirror work is very powerful. As children, we received most of our negative messages from others looking us straight in the eye and perhaps shaking a finger at us. Whenever we look into the mirror today, most of us will say something negative to ourselves. We either criticize our looks or berate ourselves for something. To look yourself straight in the eye and make a positive declaration about yourself is, in my opinion, the quickest way to get results with affirmations. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I now choose calmly and objectively to see my old pattern and I am willing to make changes. I am teachable. 
I can learn. I am willing to change. I choose to have fun doing this. I choose to react as though I have found a treasure when I discover something else to release. I see and feel myself changing moment by moment. Thoughts no longer have any power over me. I am the power in my world. I choose to be free. All is well in my world.